Today, we're going to talk about multi-cloud data portability. In an era where 76% of CEOs are looking to have second source for various cloud deployments, Weka can provide a solution for you that meets those requirements. I'm not just going to talk about it today, but I'm going to show you an actual demo of how we can do this between two popular hyperscaler clouds. The Weka technology behind this is the Snap to Object technology. This provides the capability of moving data from an existing file system into an S3 object store, and then have that data also be accessed by another Weka file system anywhere in the world. But instead of me talking about it, how about if I show you an actual demo about how this will work? So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to log into the Weka interface. As you can see here, we've created a cluster called Weka-AWS. This particular cluster is available in Amazon Web Services, as noted. If you take a look at this particular demo, you'll also see that there are only six hosts in the system. This will become a lot more important later on because the other system can be a different size than the original. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to show where the S3 object store is attached to this AWS system. As you can see highlighted here, it's actually going to an S3 environment that's inside of Google itself. We are calling the Google APIs inside of the Google Cloud Platform. The next step that we're going to show you here is that we actually have this particular S3 object store attached to an active file system. Now, once that's in place, I can actually now move to a command line and show you exactly what the data looks like within that file system itself. Highlighted here, you see that it's actually an Amazon Linux AMI. It's more of a proof point to show you that we're not doing any smoke and mirrors behind the scenes. The first thing we do is we're going to go into the mount slash Weka directory and get a listing of all the files that are in that environment. To go ahead and check that all the data is intact, we're going to go ahead and run a SHA sum function against it. And you can see the very last file has the exact same file name as the checksum, thus proving it's the exact same file. Now, if you note, the name on the file is, starts with FFAEB. Remember that because it'll be important later on. Moving back to the GUI here, what we're going to show is the ability to take a snapshot of that data that I just showed you within the file system. It's very, very simple. We're going to go ahead and give it a name, give it an access point, and click the Create button. As you can see, it's instantaneous. There's no performance impact whatsoever in the process of taking the snapshot. The next step now is to simply click Snapshot Upload. Once the snapshot is uploaded into the S3 bucket in the hyperscaler, it's now available for any other Weka system to go and find it and present that data and rehydrate the entire file system. The one piece of information that you need to have is this object store locator ID. This is location within the object store where you can find the root of the file system. Without it, there's no way of retrieving the information in the file system to restore in the new location. It's easy enough just to cut and paste this ID. Now we're going to log into the new Weka system that's inside of the Google Cloud. As I noted before, this can be a different size system. And as you can see here on screen, we actually have eight hosts in the environment. We're going to go ahead and go into the object store. And as you can see, it's the exact same object store that we had sent the data from AWS and uploaded to. And so because we're mounting that exact same location, we can now begin to restore and rehydrate all of the data. The process is very simple. We go and create a new file system. In this case, we're going to call it AWS Data. We turn our tiering function on, give it a new capacity, how much data we want to present that is. We go ahead and click the slider to say Restore from Uploaded Snapshot, and we enter the Object Store Locator that we copied previously from the AWS system. At this point, just click Create. On screen, it will show you that the file system is coming into place, the amount of capacity that it is taking up on the system. And once it shows that it is synchronized, 
you now have the ability to go and look at that same data. So let's go ahead and log into the command line of the Google system, the Google Weka system, and we'll go ahead and validate that all the data is in place. The first thing I'm going to do, just to prove that we are on a Google system, not just somewhere else, is I'm going to run this metadata command, and it comes back and shows you that we're actually running on Google machine types here. Again, no smoke and mirrors involved. This is really happening. I go ahead and change the directory to look at slash MNT or slash mount, and I see that there's a folder in there that I've pre-created called AWS data. I'm now going to go ahead and mount that file system that I restored using the locator key to that mount location called AWS data. Once I look inside AWS data, you'll see that there's a full set of files. And again, I'm going to run that SHA-1 sum against it to validate that the data is exactly the same as we had on the original AWS system. It runs through, and there we go. And if you notice, that last file in place has the full checksum in place, FFAEB, proving that's the exact same data that existed originally in AWS is now available in Google Cloud. At the end of the day, this technology is extremely simple to use. We give you the tools to do it, both in our GUI, our CLI, and with a vast set of APIs that WEC has developed to allow you to automate the entire process. And with that, thank you for watching this technical demo. Have a great day.